minute you get your hands on this wonderful portable, you find yourself with an urge to express yourself. Now that can be mighty Ready? important, not only in school, but in later life too. So I've made videos on many unusual, crazy keyboards, computer keyboards, Bluetooth keyboards, wireless keyboards, wired keyboards, touch keyboards, laser keyboards. Uh, if there's a keyboard, I'm probably gonna look at it. It's very surprising how diverse the world of keyboards is. It, 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 to me, seems to indicate that people have a very particular taste when it comes to their choice in keyboard. What I'm gonna show you today, possibly the craziest keyboard that I've ever featured. It also might be the most expensive, I can't remember. Will? It's 300 bucks. This thing is expensive, and I have to tell you that. It's called the Quirky Writer S, a typewriter inspired mechanical keyboard. This embraces a different mindset, a different time period. The click and the clack, the war and the peace, to kill a mockingbird, brave new world, Lord of the Flies. The company is called Quirky Toys. There's a picture of what it looks like. That's an attention grabbing thing. You put that in the den, a glass of cognac next to it, fine wood grain, and the smell of leather. Let's take a closer look at this thing. Ooh. Does look cool. Feel like I'm about to crack the code. This thing is heavy. Oh boy. Look. It's a real typewriter feel. Now the switches are Cherry MX Blue, that little clack to it. Bam! This tray is if you want to use an iPad or a phone. This apparently is programmable, but that's a throwback. Sets and clears stops in front makes indenting easier. To typewriter days as well. Same with these knobs on the side. LEDs along the top that I can see. Another button, USB connector to use it in a wired fashion. A traditional style power switch on this side. Braided style USB cable, but that's micro USB though. Oh, it is a micro USB connector. So it's more secure. Look at that, that's in there. This would be cool as like a volume knob. Maybe it is. So this thing will work on PC, Mac, Android, and iOS. OS. Got it connected to this MacBook Pro over here. My intuition was to test this knob for volume. That's exactly what it does. That is cool. What is this side supposed to do? I don't know, maybe nothing. Now this, what does this do? No, it's enter. It acts as enter. Test two. Wow, I kind of like it. The quick brown fox jumped over Jack. What? Vertical scroll. Let's just fill this up. He's right. Ooh, that's kind of nice. So you do a little web page scroll in there. Now you probably have a scroll wheel on your mouse, but they're trying to market the idea of using this with your iPad. You don't want to reach up and it's annoying because you're busy. How about that, Will? You're sitting over there yelling, yelling and screaming, and the truth of the matter is you didn't do your research. I wanted to be Tom Cruise against Matt Lauer. I'm not out here trying to prescribe Ritalin. I am not gonna go out Matt, and say, get your kids on Ritalin, it's the cure-all and the end-all. Matt, but here's the point. Is it Matt, don't be glib. Matt, you, you don't even, you're glib. Can you explain to me, Will, what this 10M, 20M, 30M situation is? This is mapped to brightness. Oh, they're macros. Are we talking macros? Are we talking macaroni? I saw a channel the other day on Trending, which is a guy who specializes in living like it's 200 or 300 years ago. Have you seen this guy? Welcome to 18th Century Cooking. I'm John Townsend and we're doing macaroni, or we might call it today, macaroni and cheese. All right, so listen, it, th there's obviously a massive novelty factor here. There is spectacle here, but they didn't skimp on the functionality. You've got Cherry MX Blue switches. The thing is made out of metal. It can pair to three separate Bluetooth devices. You can use it wired if you choose to. So if you're about this style, if you look at this and you feel inspired, it could be the next Harry Potter. And I think she's doing all right for herself. How many books did she sell, Willie Do? 450 million, half a billion Harry Potter books, and she owes it all to the Cordy Writer S. You need to know about it, kaboom.